everybody here seems to already have experience with kids, and I have absolutely nothing to compare to. I was never around kids. I didn't have a good childhood myself. I have nothing to look back on and reflect on <laughs> and take from that <coughs> and apply it now. Did you have a childhood? Mm-mm. No. That's why I don't know of any arts and crafts I liked to do when I was a kid. I never got to do any. I don't remember any games I liked to play. I never got to play any games. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough. I think it's best if you just observe the program again, keep, you know, just interact with children on an individual one-to-one -one basis. And if you become a friend, even to one child, you succeeded. Really? Yeah. Didn't freak you out, did it? Nothing freaks me out. I just walk in, fool. I haven't even been here five minutes yet. What's going on? Chilling, it's about that time. What do you drink? He brought cocktails. He does. He's drinking tonight. We're drinking all any, any and everything that's drinkable. So what's up with Merck tonight? Somebody's throwing a little... Gel all I know is he drinks is from 9.30 to uh, 10.30, and they all free. I got I to gotta straighten some things out in the house. Well, just about women. People have been... Oh, my God. All these women on my cake like so innocent, dude. Doing damn well, they all witches. Oh, they have a witch side, should I say. My it's big pissing, deal, pissing I have about one person in the house. I know you do. And you know that, but uh, just because I thought that was very sell-outish. I'm not cool. Like, I could never do that to somebody. Montana brought up to Anthony about me dating parents at the uh, social center. Cyrus was very upset, again at Montana. Uh, he didn't think that she had any right to tell Anthony what she did. go to talk to Genesis. I can't find Genesis because Cyrus is doing somebody in his bed. Go in the bathroom and there's someone in there doing it in the bathroom now. No. Get them all out. 
Someone hold my hand, because I'm about to go off. That's disrespectful. Which is chill. No, you don't chill in people's house making out in every room. That's disrespectful. Well, we're just Cyrus's house. We're just I know, but this is Cyrus's house, not yours. Right. So you don't make out in our rooms. That's not cool at all. I want to go in your room. No, I'm saying the confessional is our room. The bathroom is our room. Up here is our room. You know what I'm saying? So you guys need to go downstairs. I'm just drunk. We're just chilling. I know you're drunk. That's one. That's another issue. Let's just be friends. No. We've, we've passed that. Can you guys wait for her downstairs? One more threat like that, and he's out here. I hope that Camila's kicking some butt. But why? I mean, why be so mad about... I'm not... Okay, see, look. I'm about to get mad. But why? For what? Because you're making out in our house at 3 o'clock in the morning, okay? That's why I'm about to get mad. This is the end of the conversation. You motherfucking can bring people to the house? And I can't, I don't give a damn. Okay, so... Um, yours. Just some ground rules, because first of all, I am not Montana, and you will not talk to me like you spoke to Montana that I'm going to talk to any and everybody the way they deserve to be talked to. I really was starting to like you, Camila, a hell of a lot. Really? I swear to God. Then okay, we'll probably just have to talk tomorrow when you are not upset. We will, we will talk tomorrow. Because... I am upset right now. I know, and I'm upset, upset too. I am thoroughly upset because other people can have company and I can't. But see, it doesn't make sense. that's where we differ. If he didn't live here, I'd be like ten times happier living in this house. I'm going to tell you right now, all my female roommates are bitches, except for the blonde girl. But the blonde girl is like this. The rest of them, all. Besides this place turning into an hourly rate motel is just that, you know, being threatened and being called a bitch, being told off. What what can what productive can come out of that? Nothing. No, I don't think so. But I think that he is he is seeing that everybody in the house has not kept up to their end of the bargain. For what? For like bringing people up to the house. The only thing I take offense to is walking around and seeing people, especially when they're the person whose guest they are is nowhere to be found. That's what bothers me. I agree. saying and it was like you. bitch and i just got the idea that you were like about ready to hit me and got the impression no, never, like never, never. i'm not i'm not a physical person like that at all if i came off that way i'm sorry when i speak i, I know i speak like that and that is a big problem i have the thing is is if i say to you you know i don't think we should be getting calls this late it's like i don't want to get like bitch time, you, the, no, for the you, you know i don't see how the biggest bitch in the house could ever feel threatened by words i'm sorry if i yelled at you i already apologized for me this morning I'm sorry if I did, uh, but I do understand where you're coming from. He can apologize until the cows come home. 
and I can say, fine, I accept that you apologize, but I'm not going to forget it. Did you do something to your hair? Did you cut your hair? No. Okay. Why? It, look, it looks different. I just curled it last night. It's still got curl in it. Oh, that's what it is. Michael Jackson. What? Jackson. Michael what? Jackson. He's gay. what? Gay. Michael Jackson's gay? Uh-huh. That's what we might say. Nah, the girl really? with Ellen. What's her name? Ellen DeGeneres. They, they said um, that she's gay. Yeah, she is. And what do you think about that? Does that bother you? Do you watch Ellen? I used to, but my mother doesn't let me anymore. Really? Why not? Because now she thinks that she really is gay, so we don't watch it anymore. But we do watch Home Improvement. Yeah. Oh, let's talk about this. <laughs> let's yeah. talk about this. Yeah. You guys you used to watch Ellen, that show, right, before yeah. you found out she was gay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you know she's gay, right? Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? What does it mean? That she's in love with another yeah. woman. Okay, oh so... Oh, my goodness! So why is it that... You watched it before and you liked it, right? You laughed a lot and stuff. Now that you know that she likes women, why does that matter and you stopped watching it? I don't like gay people. You don't like gay people? No, I just have a feeling that I hate them. You hate them? That's a strong word. Hate My mother tells me not to hang around with gay people, I guess. Do they do something bad that no one else does? <gasps> no. But you know what, though? I know people that you know that are gay, that you know really well, that you like, too. What if I told you I was gay? Just a crying in tears. No. Would you, I, would you like me? Would you stop liking me? No, I would still like you. So, explain to me, like, why it matters. If, if I like girls, and I'm not trying to kiss you, and I just want to be your friend in color, why does it matter that I like girls? Like Vanessa, um, she's gay, and I know that because she once told me that she was gay because she liked other girls. She asked me if I would still be her friend even though she's gay, and I said yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. Because yeah. awesome. yeah. it probably would have really hurt her feelings, huh? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. You know what? What, Pilar? It doesn't matter how people are. It's, it, it doesn't matter like, like if they're gay. It matters how do they treat you. Like right. if they're nice to you, mean to you. Because it's like gay people can be nice to you, Spanish people can be nice to you, black people can be nice to you, white people can be nice to you. We'll hang out tomorrow. Good job. Thank you, Mama. jump down to Jessica's conversation. And I just know it was a uh, informative conversation. Okay, because I'm the gay one you're going to explain. It wasn't Genesis. Really. Was I, I did it. Okay. Uh, for some reason, Pilar said that Michael Jackson is gay. And Jessica comes out with, I hate gay people. What was said? She uh, really did. No, Jessica did most of the talking. Camila was just, I was like, just asking, asking questions, questions. Like trying to engage Jessica to say why she felt the way she did about gay people and like have her think about what she was saying and not just regurgitate what her mother had taught her. They I didn't talk about sex. We didn't talk we didn't about sex. like that. It was just me asking questions to help her kind of think about what she was saying before she would just make such a strong statement like that. I gotta say, I see a lot of myself in Jessica and in her relationship with her mother. And I know that if my mother would have known that I was going to an after school program and they were talking to me about this kind of stuff, I would have been taken out right away. I'm thinking that, that it was educate. I mean, it's good to hear other points of view. I think you said, like, a lot of great things. But it went on for a long time, and, and I just wanted to make sure that she was all right. Maybe it's not our duty to sort of inform them about this. I think that that's something that has to go on at, in the house. Obviously, the parents have an extremely large role in this, and 
that is why Jessica thinks the way she does. But at least the seed was planted for her to possibly think otherwise. Anything else? The reason why I have you here is I learned that um, one of our parents was over your house. Mm -hmm. is, is that true? First, the parents stopped in and picked me up, yeah. What's your feeling about that, about having a relationship outside of the center? I have no problem with it. I mean, personally, I don't. I think it's unprofessional. I think it's a huge conflict of interest. As far as? E everything. Liability. There, there could be a, a pending lawsuit here. Well, I, I didn't see anything wrong with it, and I didn't remember reading anything and anything that I had signed that that was not a boundary. Common sense should tell you that there's definitely something up with that. No, common sense would tell you. To me, common sense would tell me that I didn't do anything wrong, that that's fine with me, personally. I mean, if this is what the job entails and I, you know, can't do that, then that's something I guess I need to think about. Bottom line is, is, is today enough time for you to make a, a decision? I don't know. I'm not sure. So let's say 12 o'clock. Yes. At 12 o'clock, you will call me and really think it out. Thanks for talking to me. All right, sir. Basically, I need to make a decision. If I'm gonna continue seeing the parent, if I'm gonna work here. That's not worth, what's not worth it? I guess it's more important that you get this job here. It is. I tell you what. If you lose your job here, I'm losing your problems for you in the house. I know that's my fact. This is dire to most relationships. Yeah, this job. We really know what my decision is. <laughs> exactly. Time lapse. I might as well give in now. Basically, I just wanted to say I'm used to, uh, being a minority, I'm used to giving in stuff I don't agree with. Um, so I don't have to agree with it to, to do it. So I'm just going to save all this pressure and all this time. I, I'll do what you need me to do to work in your place, in our place. Um, but I'll, I'll, you know, I'll take care of it. I'll definitely take care of it. Record time. Uh, getting to that, uh... In the situation I'm in, I need to... It's hard for me just to give in on something that when I feel like I'm not necessarily wrong. But it just takes me a second to look at it. You know what I'm saying? It just takes me a second to look at it and realize what I need to do. Okay. And I, and I realize what I need to do. So. What? I don't want to be the gay one anymore. What? I don't, I don't want to be hit by little children all over the nation. <laughs> Hold on. Stop. What are you talking about? I don't want to be gay anymore. I want to be straight. Oh. See? That, that, what you just said right there is why gay people have a hard-ass time in this country. That right there. I don't want to be gay anymore. I don't want to be black anymore. I think I should stop right now. It's easier for me to act straight than what it would for you to be white. Oh my gosh, what do you mean you don't want to be gay anymore? I'm sick and tired of being hated by people and stereotyped. That shouldn't make you not want to be gay. That should make you want to be the most open gay person you could possibly be. And that should make you want to bring like a gay pride flag to the center tomorrow and have a period on what it's like to be gay and talk about it. But it's a choice. Huh? It's a choice. People are going to, gay people are going to burn in hell. Gay people are perverted. Gay people want to have sex with everything their own sex. That's what they all think. Because that wasn't Jessica talking, that was her mom talking. You can't stop being gay. That's what God handed you. Life's a bitch. This is the way. Today go. Huh? Did you talk crap today? Yeah, I did. So what do you think? Um, he said um basically the same thing that he told you. He didn't say I signed papers saying that, did he? Um, no, he didn't. Did you ask him if it was written? Yes. And he said? Yeah, he said he said it's an ethical um rule, and I said that that was bull. He said he talked to you about it and um that you you came to the same agreement he did. 
And did uh, he say I was forced to? Because I was forced to. I know you were. No, he didn't say you were forced to. Cyrus is trying to tell this mother, look, I can't see you anymore because it's affecting my job. Cyrus said he'll end the relationship with the mother, and I think he has. I know that Cyrus has told that woman that he can no longer see her because it is a conflict of interest. I don't think he's seeing her anymore, which is good for all of us. What time are you leaving the offices tonight? Maybe we can meet later and have another dinner. On the next real world, I am attracted to drag queens. Hey, did you hear the one about the lesbian? I dominantly like women. Who falls in love with a man? Know that I love you and that I know that you love me. Who's dressed as a woman? Adam by day and Eve by night. Wait a minute, this isn't a joke. I'm just in a state of confusion right now. Does she want a man or a woman? We're all kind of unclear about that. You said you were going to kick her in the face. Before or after, you said you were going to slap him. So, why are you going to kick her in her face? What'd she do to you? She said she was going to slap me. See the why dads come to life in the greatest moments in Video Music Awards history coming up next. And don't forget to watch the 1997 MTV Video Music Awards live tomorrow at 8. Okay. DJ, um, was, um, running down the hall. He hit me in the neck. Mm. Camila! Now we have issues with DJ. Ah!